An Alabama lawmaker is filing a bill to require local school boards to provide school resources to students in order to facilitate prayer in schools. And WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple heard from those in favor of the bill and others who say it opens the door for lawsuits. House Bill 35 says that school boards must let students leading prayers use school resources to do so, like the PA system. Can I please have you join me in prayer? It's a common feature of high school football games, one that the Alabama Citizens Action Program wants to protect. This isn't limiting anyone. This is actually freeing people up um, to uh, to practice the religion. Um, again, First Amendment rights, you don't give those up because you're at a public, uh, public location. The bill says school boards and athletic associations cannot prohibit voluntary student-led prayer during activities like graduation or a football game. ALCAP President Greg Davis says this bill supports freedom of expression, but acknowledges it could face challenges. I'm sure this will be challenged in the courts, we'll see. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's what the process is all about. House Bill 35 is blatantly unconstitutional. Brittany Williams with American Atheists tracks bills across the country looking for those that could be struck down in court. She's noticed a rise recently in school prayer bills following the Supreme Court's ruling last summer favoring a high school football coach's right to pray on the field. She thinks this bill will be challenged if it passes. We want people to be able to pray, like, by all means, like, that is your inherent right, but at the same time, it's when it's being forced onto others and especially within the public capacity. That is when it's a problem and when it's endorsed by the government. Now, bill sponsor Representative Tracy Estes says his intent is not to invite legal challenges with this bill. He says he simply wants the state to protect student led prayer. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.